panicking. They know it's going to be a bloodbath, and they're desperate for someone to swoop in and save them. Now, usually that person's the president who goes around the country to campaign. But this weekend, Biden didn't campaign. Biden was nowhere to be found. He was in Delaware again. So it was Barack Obama to the rescue. He was in Georgia and Michigan and Wisconsin doing rallies. And the media thinks he's the savior. They're relying on somebody who was last on the ballot a decade ago to come in as their closer yeah. in the midterms. It tells you a lot about where things are. I talked to two people yesterday just in regular conversations like, you know, Barack Obama is so good at this. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what they're counting on. Democrats are right. You put your best team on the field and President Obama is the best team. I think the fact that he's out there also tells you what we know about the election. Joe Biden can't be out there. So this is the only person they can put out. Mom confused. I thought Joe Biden was FDR. Why does he need rescuing? I thought this was the greatest economy of all time, they sold us. So why are they calling in Obama? And by the way, Obama, not as sharp as he used to be. A heckler interrupted him during a rally in Michigan. Guy couldn't handle it. Watch. Yes. So, sir, sir, you know, wait, 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 come on. Sir, sir, this is, this is what I'm saying. Look, we, we've got, we've got a... There is a process that we set up in our democracy. Right now, I'm talking. You'll have a chance to talk sometime soon. It's not a good way to do business. It's that you wouldn't do that in a workplace. If you wouldn't just interrupt people in the middle of a conversation. Hold up. Hold on a minute. Listen, everybody. Hey, y'all up there, pay attention. We're, we're, y'all ever see that movie, uh, Up, that Disney movie? Right, remember that that's dog and the dog's talking and that squirrel and they turn and that's us that's us with politics remember they thought he was cool <laughs> well that didn't go well but don't worry after that obama brought the talking points you you hear the republicans talk a lot about crime right now how violent crime has gone up over the last seven years by the way they act like it just happened just last year, as if like the, the, the previous president wasn't there. And by the way, it, it didn't just happen in so-called blue states. Turns out it's gone up in conservative rural states too. They don't mention that in the ads. Obama is off his game. You can't tell people worried about crime that it's not a big deal and that it's been happening for a long time. And you know why Obama is terrified? Republicans taking control because he knows if they take control, they're going to investigate what Biden was doing right under his nose for eight years. The Chinese money, the Ukraine money, the Chinese diamonds, the sketchy wires from Moscow. We already remember Obama's lawyers killed Biden's IRS audit and that Obama was worried about Hunter and Burisma. What do you think is going to happen to Obama's legacy when we find out everything Beijing Biden was up to? while he was Barry's Veep. They're going to